How's it going everyone? My name is Paul McGovern Jr. and I'm a director, DP, editor, content creator in Los Angeles, California. And I have an admission to make. For many years, I've just been using Sony's standard profile setting because I've been too scared and intimidated to use Sony's S-Log3 setting. Yes, it's true. The flatness, the exposure, the post-production extra work on the back end. I didn't want any part of it. I said, I can get by using standard. I didn't need PPA, but a few months ago, I was on a project where we used the S-Log3 setting and my eyes have been opened. Now I realize what I've been missing out and this is what this video is about. It's gonna be showing you some sample footage with the Sony A7S III in S-Log3. Now I still use the standard profile setting for quick turnaround projects because it has that color baked in and the Sony A7S III is an amazing camera that shoots fantastic and standard. So some major quick tips that have helped me along my S-Log3 journey is, I always use zebras now. I crank my zebras to the limit being 94 plus and try to keep it there because right after that it starts clipping. Number two is I wanna try to use as much light as I can so obviously a lot of the stuff I do is scripted, so I encourage, I try to get the lights I have. I try to encourage people to bring more lights if we're shooting small projects. So I try to use the light because I know you wanna have a little bit of higher exposure. Multimetering about plus one to plus two. And number three, knowing the base ISOs of your camera. Now when I'm shooting standard, you can kind of use the ISO sparingly, especially on the Sony. You can kind of crank it up pretty high and it will still look pretty good. But for the log setting, the S-Log3 setting, your base ISO is gonna be 640, and your high end is gonna be a whopping 12,800. Now folks, when I heard that, I said, that's too high. I can't crank it that high. Because when you go to 8,000 and 10,000 in the S-Log3 setting, it doesn't look good. You get grainy and it's noisy. But you get to 12,800, the high end native ISO for the Sony A7S III, and it looks good. It looks relatively clean. And if you compare what this is, the next level up, which is gonna be 12,800, which is the native ISO, the high-end ISO for this camera. And just with that change, you can see like in the corner right there, the static that's gone, maybe on my shirt, it should be gone right now. Maybe it's like the table right here, if you see this table, the static should be gone there, the noise. So that's why it's like, always wanna to try to do that high-end. I mean, this is relatively dark in here too right now. I mean, outside of the little bit of sunlight we have outside. So right now I'm gonna show you some sample footage of stuff I've been shooting with some homemade custom LUTs. And if you like these LUTs, they are for sale down below in the description. They're pretty affordable price because I'm just trying to learn how to get LUTs out there. I spent some time making them. So if you like the way these look, check them out down below. Now let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Now hopefully this video has scratched the surface on using S-Log3 on your Sony A7S III. I know it's been really fun using it myself and it was really fun making these LUTs and testing them out and putting them on different videos. So also a bunch of links down below about the science of LUTs and the proper usage of different cameras and the variety of things you could do. So check those out if you really want to deep dive into the whole world of S-Log3. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this has helped you a little bit. And please, please, please let me know if you have any questions on the S-Log3 setting in your Sony A7S III. And I'm excited to, you know, learn about it myself. I'm excited to share the knowledge that I've learned with y'all. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought of these LUTs. And let me know any tips or tricks that you have. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and night, wherever you are. Now let's get on with the color graded. <laughs>